Hello, hello guys. Welcome back to the channel, Divine Truth Tarot. As promised, here is your second reading for the day. <clears throat> I've switched out the decks, so we have the Everyday Witch Tarot. We have the Whispers of Love. We have the Keepers of the Light, and we have the Magical Dimensions. We are going to start with magic, and I'm I'm for one feeling the magical energy today the shift and energy you never know how long it's going to last on this ascension journey but i'm definitely feeling it so i hope you guys are feeling it as well let's go ahead and scatter these let me know in the comments below give the video a shout out comment like subscribe thank you guys so much for your devotion to the channel for your devotion to your your commitment to the journey your commitment to helping each other understand the journey very much appreciated and for just tuning in for being present and being a part of my journey and give these cards a nice shuffle i'm not going to take the cards yet because i haven't yet set an intention but let's go ahead and invite in the energies of my higher self, my guides, your guides, the ancestors, the ancestral magic, the ancestral wisdom, as well as the ascended masters, Archangel Michael and Archangel <clears throat> Raphael, excuse me, and any other archangels that wish to step through. Please step through any benevolent beings. Please coat these cards, this room, this space, my energy, and anyone here who is watching their energy with a field of gold and light. Please coat the space. Please coat their energy fields. Please keep us protected. And thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. Okay, well, let's check out the energies. So these will just be current energies coming in. Wow. <laughs> okay, two chakras being highlighted and illuminated heart chakra and solar plexus. So what do we have here, guys? We have the center of self-worth. Center of self-worth, okay? So what this means is this is the seat of your personal power. So there's an exercise that you can do, which would be very beneficial at this time between now and between December when things will get really hairy and things will get really challenging. By the way, guys, this is not an engagement ring. It's just, it's loose today on my other hand. So I put it on this hand. It's the ring I wear all the time. It's actually a self-love ring. Um, I just knew that I would get a question or two about that. So um, obviously I'm not engaged. If, you, if, if I was, you guys would know, I'd be screaming it from the rooftops, my DM. Purples, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so anyway, so um, solar plexus. So something you can do is a meditation where you imagine you have your own personal sun and you're breathing in and it gets bigger and you breathe out and it contracts. You expand on the inhale, contract a little on the exhale. Each time the sun grows and gets bigger and it gets more powerful. This is a beautiful, beautiful meditation you can do with your breath that will increase the power uh, of of your essence and your energy field of you. This is about trusting in yourself. It's about says being centered, balancing power. Um, also getting to the point where nobody can manipulate you. So having those healthy boundaries and also you being manipulative. So making sure that you're balanced and when this, this chakra is balanced, you don't have to manipulate and others cannot manipulate you. So having healthy, firm boundaries, really important between now and December guys. Um, you know, that's why I'm making these statements on my community tab that I will not tolerate any negative comments about the journey. I mean, of course, you can state, you know, your fears and your insecurities, but there are particular comments I will not be tolerating, especially those bashing the karmics or the divine masculines. They will, those people will be removed immediately and banned. I'm just not dealing with that energy. It's very low vibrational. And those of you who are watching this channel are past that and you have a greater and deeper wisdom and understanding about what this journey truly is, why separation is happening, why the silence and ghosting happens, and you know the truth about your divine partner and who and what they are to you. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to give those energies any more power, but you can definitely work on your personal power and that's going to assist your growth and the evolution of your journey, the evolution of your soul. And of course it will assist you in getting closer to inner union, closer to that union that you feel with yourself. What does inner union feel like and look like? When you've experienced glimpses or lengths of being in inner union, it feels like you, everything is aligned. It's a place of alignment. 
feels as though nothing can ruffle your feathers, so to speak. And if they do get ruffled, it's temporary and you know exactly what to do to get back into alignment. It's a state of inner alignment and joy and abundance. Um, it's a state of being able to being grateful and being appreciative of anything that is occurring, whether it, it seems in the 3D to be contrary to joy or whether it seems to be a joyful experience. So appreciating even the obstacles that come up. Um, it is, it looks like that person, you know, that person that you've had a conversation with and they're just so balanced and you're like, wow, you almost want to ruffle their feathers because you just want to see, will they have an emotion? And <clears throat> that is the person that you are becoming or have become to find feminine, to find masculine watching. That is the goal. We are working on this inner union while the masculine energy within us and the physical masculine works on the energies of stabilizing things in the 3D, in the actual physical reality. Now, while all of this is happening, your heart chakra is being activated. So many of you are feeling heart chakra activations, heart chakra flutters, openings. You may have either heart pain, um, chest pain, um, you could also have pain that emanates from the back of the heart. Now, I have to say this as a disclaimer. If you think there's a medical issue, please seek medical help, okay? You guys know how to discern the difference between an actual medical condition or issue and ascension symptoms. So please, please be discerning in your journey and in your experience with your physical body. But this says receptivity generosity yeah it's healing any trust wounds okay it's healing abandonment it's healing rejection um actually a solar plexus is more about healing rejection i would say um solar plexus and heart chakra both could be about healing abandonment wounds okay you'll feel those those wounds in both chakra centers and both energy centers um, but feeling like you can't trust men or women, feeling like you can't trust the world or the universe or God or your higher power, feeling like you can't trust others in general. So healing all of that, <clears throat> we have this beautiful pink and green energy, which can both symbolize the heart chakra. It, both colors um, very much will activate that chakra. So I always try to bring in, or lately I've been trying to bring in some rose quartz to these. It's interesting because I was called to bring in the rose quartz and then here we have the energy of the heart chakra. So pink or green will activate and help balance that heart chakra for you to be able to open back up and be receptive to people loving you and receptive to loving others. We have illumination, expression, positivity, and joy, inspiration. So there's an illumination happening for both counterparts, where both counterparts are starting to feel like the answers that they've been seeking are finally here. Over the next four months, we have a lot going on energetically. There's a lot of stuff I'm not talking about. There's a lot of stuff I am talking about. We're all very tuned in if you're a viewer on my channel. You're a tuned in light worker, you're a grid worker, you're a divine counterpart, feminine or masculine. You may be a star seed or an incarnated angel, but you definitely know that you're here with a purpose. Some of you have dual missions or triple missions or quadruple missions. It really, you know, we are, we are the 144,000. And the more I understand about twin flames, the more I believe that there are only 144,000. Um, again, I, take what I say with a grain of salt and take what resonates, leave what doesn't, please. This is your journey and this is your discernment, but I'm starting to get to this place of knowing in my own journey that there's less twin flames than maybe we thought. This, this is not to say that people are out there lying or trying to scheme you. It's to say that I think a lot of people think they may be twin flames, but they may be higher level soulmates or they may in fact be in a karmic situation because there's a lot of just misinformation out there that I'm really trying to dispel on my channel. But I have to be very careful about how I say it and what I say. So I'm sort of letting things come out slowly um, and then seeing who, you know, who stays and seeing who is resonating because those will be our soul family and our soul tribe and part of the 144,000. Uh, twin flames who will come into union in this lifetime. It's very important that twins understand how important they are, again, beyond the physical journey that you encounter with your counterpart. Why? Because both twins are, 
both twins carry such high vibrational energy and such potential to change the vibration of the planet when we come together we are more powerful yes we're powerful apart it's not a matter of needing your twin it's a matter of wanting and it's a mat it's a matter of desire but it's also a matter of benefit to the universe benefit to humanity benefit to the growth in humanity's consciousness to the shift that's going on right now there's never been a more powerful shift in humanity's consciousness than what we're experiencing now and there's many forces that don't want twins to come together and don't want the truth to come out in general okay that's why things are getting um you know you follow some accounts on instagram or youtube or whatever and they're getting banned it's because they're speaking the truth it's not because they're lying it's the opposite it's because they're speaking the truth and the media doesn't want those things to come out so as that's happening more and more twins will be called to come together this is why karmic relationships are have crumbled and are continuing to crumble this is why those situations had to come to an end because twins are here to do work together we're here to shift the planet we're here to shift the consciousness we can do some work apart, but I do feel very strongly that we are meant to do our work together. We are meant to come together to help heal humanity. So there's just such a greater potential when you're in physical union with your divine counterpart. Okay, let's go ahead and over to the Keepers of the Light cards. Card for the Feminines, please. Card for the Feminines. Card for the Feminines. We'll take that one. Life Force, Serunos. Express your driving passion, sensual and sexual powers are highlighted and increased. Yep. Well, you didn't have to um, tell me that. So yeah, sacral chakra on fire. Okay, sensuality, seat of sensuality and creativity, the passion, the driving force. There's a very animalistic nature to this card. And there's also, I also see Aries, the Ram energy. So you could be an Aries or your twin could, or you could have powerful placements in the sign of Aries in your chart. North node, south node, moon, rising, Mars energy, be a very powerful placement. And I see this, uh, this has been coming up uh, quite frequently and you guys are definitely seeing themes coming up in the cards in the readings this is coming up to indicate there's a lot of fertile energy divine feminine there is a lot of possibility this is fertile grounds that we're walking into here over the next four months into the end of the year uh, there's grounds to really shift your life to shift your perception of how life operates and to really get into that energy of action, planting the seeds and watch, not just sitting back watching them grow, but planting the seeds, watering them, feeding them, and making sure you're doing everything in your power to create the shift that you desire in your life. Divine feminines have been really focused for the majority, I, I would say since maybe not the entire year of 2020, but for like the last four to six months, have been quite focused on their pentacles, on their career, entrepreneurship, starting a business or launching the business or growing your business, um, growing your bank account. That's been a main theme for the feminines that I've seen coming up. A lot of nine of pentacles energy and queen or uh, king of pentacles energy for the feminines so um, you could say that that's masculine energy and i do think it is but remember as you balance out your masculine energy you give your masculine permission to balance out his feminine energy his or her feminine energy and as you do that guess what you come into alignment with yourself and then you come into alignment with each other physically your partner can't help but be magnetized and attracted to you when you're balanced. That's just the nature of the divine feminine and divine masculine energy in essence. You balance each other out and you create the state of utopia when that happens within each other and in the physical external world. Divine masculine energy, please. So don't deny your passions at this time, Divine Feminine. Don't deny your sensuality or sexuality. Don't deny, don't deny whatever is coming up. Um, this is also about healing any sort of beliefs that you might have that may be buried that say sex is bad or dirty or um, you know any of those things, those are being healed right now as well. 
So express your sensuality, your sacred sensuality. Who do we have? We have Melchizedek, higher learning. Now, Melchizedek, you have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. Divine masculine, beautiful. Divine masculines have in fact been learning this year. This has been a mega, mega. They've been catapulted into, you know, grade after grade. It's like grade in the sense of, you know, grade school or grade seventh, eighth, ninth. They are being just catapulted, you know, they graduate immediately onto the next one. They graduate that immediately onto the next one. So climbing the ladders of ascension and self-awareness, going deep into that place of uh, that seat of higher learning. So now they're going within. There is a sense of hierophant energy here. So a sense of sort of nothingness. Um, so there might be a void. There, there continues to be a void in a lot of these connections in the physical. And that's happening for a reason. I strongly believe that if you're not in communication with your twin, that's absolutely no indication of union or how fast union is going to come or any of that. I know this is challenging to the ego. Okay, I deal with my own ego still. <laughs> I know this isn't necessarily easy to accept. But what I do know for sure and for certain is that the 3D is not a, an appropriate or proper or accurate representation or indication of when your union will happen, how it will happen, or any of that. Those of you who are in no contact, who have been separated for a while, I would say three months or more, you're going to find that when your counterpart does come in, when, when communication lines open again, you're going to be surprised. You're going to be sort of swept off your feet. I'm seeing romantic gestures. I'm seeing, uh, it may not start off as a romantic gesture, but it's going to end that way. And there's going to be just so much resonance because you will both be on the same page. So I know it's hard to be patient. I understand. I, I'm a Scorpio with a Mars and Leo, okay? Your girl doesn't have patience. My mom, as a retired kindergarten teacher, and people used to say, why don't you become a teacher? Well, I did in a different way, but why don't you become a teacher? And I said, are you kidding me? I don't have patience. My mom is a Libra saint. She has the patience of all the saints in the world. I have the patience of like a half of one, if that, like a tenth of one, hundredth of one. So I understand. I understand, but I do believe that those of you who are not in communication are going to receive it and it's going to be a eight of wands and four of wands type energy where there's going to be certainty in that communication. So do not be upset, feminines, please. When I say distract yourselves here, I mean fulfill yourselves. Distract yourselves by fulfilling yourselves, living a full life focusing on everything, focus on putting that money in the bank. The reason feminines are being called to deposit money in the bank right now is because they're setting up, they're preparing, okay, separation is preparation. They're preparing to come into union. They're preparing for abundance. There's going to be a nice little nest egg there that you have that's going to be for traveling. It's going to be for the life that you're creating with your divine counterpart, buying a house, building a house, property. It's going to be all of those things that, again, are going to help humanity. So what do we have for union energy? We have Joan of Arc, Voice of Truth. Stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution, and speak your truth. Well, interesting. <coughs> we very much have the energy here of both feminine and masculine wanting to take off the masks, the cloaks that they've been wearing that has them pretending to be something they're not. No more fear of being seen for who you are, of speaking your truth, of acting, instead of acting and playing a part and playing a role, just showing up as yourself, just taking all of that off. Many feminines are not really, you know, worried about their outer appearances at this time. Um, they're, you know, many feminines have sort of less make I'm seeing it all over social media, less makeup and less filters and just really just showing up, showing the world, this is who I am take it or leave it and wanting to be accepted for who you truly are so focus on your purpose and don't worry counterparts about what what others think those in your 3d life are not going to appreciate it especially any karmic influences they're not or three just 3d oriented people they're not going to understand it doesn't matter if they understand this journey it's not for them to understand it's for you it's for you it's your journey 
Let's go to the Whispers of Love. I have not used this deck in quite a while. It was a gift from one of our beloved sisters and it's a gorgeous deck with a beautiful, just a silky feel. So we're gonna go ahead and pull a few cards, a messages from the Divine Masculine. Messages from the Divine Masculine. One more. They're so silky, it's hard to shuffle. I'm actually going to choose the cards this way. Messages from the Divine Masculine. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation, no matter how rocky, no matter how turbulent the waters get. This is so reflective of the song that I posted. I've been posting a lot on the community tab and I posted a few this morning. I want you guys go take a look after you watch this video because there is a post there. It's a song. Okay, it's by Method Man and Mary, Day, Mary J. Blige. And I want you to listen to the lyrics. I posted a link to it and you can also, I highlighted a few specifically lyrics that really spoke to me. This is the feminine talking to the masculine is the way that I saw it, even though in the song is the masculine talking to the feminine. So it's a little of both, but the message is the masculine's hearing that. He says, he or she says, thank you for not giving up. Thank you for being the love that endures. Thank you for always, always having my back. They're recognizing, the masculines are recognizing you are the only one who has always had their back. You're the only one who has been there no matter what. No matter what rough seas or choppy waters or how long it's been without talking or seeing each other, your presence, your energy, your light and your love is still very much the center point and focal point for them. And you know, them on this journey, as the feminine climbs and ascends the mountain, the masculine isn't far behind now and your light is what's carrying him on. So really job well done, feminines, and really shining your light for the masculine. So what else do the masculines have to say to the feminines? Be willing to express love, express love to receive love. It's kind of like the miser card that came up in the last reading I did today. If you guys have not checked that out, go ahead and check it out. Okay, the miser card keeps coming up from the Osho Zen tarot deck. I made a joke out of it in the reading because it keeps on coming up and it's the feminine's energy of being stingy with love and not opening her heart. No wonder the heart chakra needs some healing, guys. No wonder this card came up, okay? We need to heal the heart. We need to open up. We need to stop, you know, oh, the timing. Oh, you were supposed to come. You know, you're supposed to come at this time. You're supposed to have done this or done that. It's like, no, 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 no. We're not doing it right. Release any expectation of time or of how you expect things to unfold, especially when it comes to communication and your masculine coming forward after some time, after a leave of absence, if you will. Okay, so express your love. I also feel like this is related to that September 15th energy where you know, I'll clue you guys in and let you know how I'm feeling that day. Always go with your guidance, you know, and what you feel is right. But I do feel like feminines are going to be called to reach out, at least some of you, on that date. Okay, one more message, maybe two from the masculines. I love you. I mean, drops the mic. Drops the mic. I love you. There isn't another message after that. You can't get any better than I love you. I love you. This divine masculine wants the divine feminine to know he loves you. He supports you. He sees you. He knows you. He hears you. He has not forgotten about you. And, you know, it's funny because it says, you know, express your love. Well, he's expressing his love here. So even if you haven't heard the words, I love you in the physical, your divine masculine does love you. They loved you from the moment they saw you. They loved you from the moment they entered your energy field. They loved you immediately. So 
we're going to end this reading on that note because I can't possibly end on a higher note than I love you. Your divine masculine loves you, divine feminine. Keep the faith, stay strong. They thank you for being the love that endures, the love that is always, always there for them. Keep being yourself. Keep really, really heightening your pleasures and your joy in this life and that's that's bringing in so much abundance into your life and into your connections sending you guys so much love and light have a beautiful friday night and i'll see you tomorrow